When three men visited Abraham, one was called a Lord. When Jacob feared meeting his brother Esau, he wrestled until dawn, desiring a blessing from the angel of the Lord. The angel gave the blessing and changed his name from Jacob to Israel. Jacob asked what his name was. When the angel did not tell him, Jacob called him God, saying, I have seen God face to face, and my life is preserved. A fitting name often portrays a person's character. When God appeared to Moses at the burning bush, he called himself, I am, because he is an ever-present help in time of need. He is known as Jehovah, which the Hebrew scribes spelled Y-H-W-H. This means to be, for he is eternal. Jesus said before Abraham was, I am. When correctly pronounced, Y-H-W-H has no vowels and sounds like soft wind. The still small voice is the word of God. When the word became flesh, his name was Jesus. This means Jehovah saves. He is known as the bread from heaven, the chief shepherd, the door, the vine. He is the way, the truth, and the life. He is the stone rejected by the builders, the rock of our salvation, and the building's chief cornerstone. When we need protection, he is the cleft of the rock. If our passion is to do his will, then he is our God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Many more names are ascribed to him who is above every name that is named, whether in heaven or on earth. God and his word are one. As we hunger and thirst after righteousness, he is both our bread of life and living water. All of the names of Jesus mean something. Mean something that he is for us and does for us. Um, and God as well. You know, the first name, the the uh, I am. You know, I've always thought of that, as, and that is the very existence, not just of God, but of everything, uh, is centered on that name. I am. Without God, nothing exists. You do not exist. I do not exist. These trees <laughs> do not exist. The world, the universe does not exist. We exist because God is God exists that is fantastic brothers and sisters I don't know that just really encourages me to know that my God your God is reality is based on this God of ours and I don't say this God meaning he's the God among other gods he is the God the only God and he is also our Father. Let's pray the prayer Jesus taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Enough said. God bless you. Be encouraged today.